shut. Come on, old man. Yes, come on, Mossas. Let him go. That's not part of the deal. What good is a strong Mossas? Charles. Anything you can remember. You've got to give me something, Mr. Kovacs. Were they tall, short, thin, fat? What? Just leaving, Mrs. Kovacs. We didn't tire him. Please. I... I'm not woman who hates. But men who do such a thing. They will be found. Yes? They'll be found. So relax, McHale. Relax. Half million dollar diamond heist and that's all you can come up with? Relax? Fine, Captain Lovely. Look, McHale, now you look. My company insured that stone. We're on the hook for a half million dollar. What me to do? Choke it out of him? You said yourself it smelled like an inside job. No prints. Alarm disconnected. Nobody's sitting around. I'll let you in on something, McHale. Keep it under your hat. Okay, it's under my hat. The commissioner's called in an undercover man. He's already working on the case. Undercover? What's he doing? Winging. Ad-living. Trying to dig his way into it. And stay alive at the same time. When you're a policeman working undercover, it's just as important to protect the innocent as it is to catch the guilty. An old diamond cutter, Emil Kovacs, was suspected of complicity in the theft of a half a million dollar diamond. The uncut diamond weren't found. The chances were that Kovacs would go to prison. The trail led me to a place, a bar owned by a man named Ox Belden. He had a record of diamond thefts, but mainly in Europe. Lately, he had been clean, running bars, cab companies, legitimate businesses. At least, as far as the police could find out. It was my job to get to Belden, and I decided to do it through Mrs. Belden. She was like a diamond herself. Cold and expensive. The usual, Mrs. Belden? Please. put it this way. We didn't meet before. A, you wouldn't believe it. B, I wouldn't forget it. C, that's a charming twist on a very tired line. Well, with a little help, I can do better. Well, what do you drink while you try? I'm the same as a lady. Yes, sir. So the little man says, sure, we lose a little on each deal, but think of the value. <laughs> Once again? Uh-uh. No, I've had my limit. Besides, I'm a very late lady already. Well, whatever it is, uh, can't it be canceled? Uh, after all, it's a very lovely town. Let's take a look at it. Uh-uh. Mr. Belden gets mad. Are you sure you won't change your mind? Mm. Bye, Mr. Jones. Real cold shoulder, huh? Ice cold. The bait was out. When Mrs. Belden missed her necklace, I was sure she'd remember my face. And Belden would come looking for me. But before Belden found me, there was someone I needed. One of those characters you meet on the tightrope. Gideon was one of them. A man with one name and two talents. He was almost as good with diamonds as with the bottle. Splendid, my dear chap, Splendid. You don't happen to have a, a spare on you by any chance, do you? The natives are a bit restless tonight. Let's get to it, Gideon. Run that down. Oh, that's quite good. It's a bit gauche. 
flamboyant style of cutting. Stop playing critic. What's the weight and cost? About 20 carats, all told. Shouldn't run over 6,000. I could have done a far superior cutting job. I'm sure you could. Do you doubt me, my dear fellow? I, who cut the Trebilliardi stone. Did I ever tell you about that? Many times. Before my illness, it was 60 carats in the vice, waiting the touch of Gideon, the magic touch. You still able to cut Gideon? My dear chap. Level with me. You've been a long time lushing. I've been a long time breathing. It hasn't damaged my lungs. Are you serious about wanting me to do a cutting job? Like the idea? Sure, heaven. Except for one small sticky wicket. My instruments. What about them? Well, one runs low in funds. One deals with the Free Star Pawn Shop. They're reposing on Uncle's shelf at this very moment awaiting redemption. Well, we won't worry about it. Now, that's for the rundown. And don't drink it all up. Why ever not? Because I may need you. If things work out, you might get a crack at cutting the biggest rock you ever saw. How much longer is this going to take, Captain? I should think you'd be more cooperative, Mr. Belden. It was you who made the complaint. Look, a cheap hood lifts my wife's necklace, and all you do is show us pictures. These are jewelry heisters who use that M.O. Only a couple of more. Can't we go through them? Last one. That was the one. Hand me the phone. Hold it! You throw that punch and you're in trouble. Call him off, Belden. No use anybody getting hurt. You're the only one who's going to get hurt, friend. Be a mistake, Belden. You need me. A half a million dollars worth. Back off. Let along. I just want to talk. Two minutes worth. If you don't like what you hear, you can give me back to your goons. All right. Let's talk. Can you swim? If I have to. In a cement suit? You better make these two minutes count, punk. Two minutes and they're falling away. If I wanted to keep it, it would have been broken up hours ago. Forget that, Belden. I'm not taking a swim tonight. Remember? I'm the guy that's going to solve a big problem for you. Like? Like the Kovacs Diamond. Who are you, Heister? Jordan. Jack Jordan. Fine. What's a Jack Jordan? A guy who figured it. Fifteen seconds. Look, there are only two guys who figure to make a score that big. You and Ernie Todd. Ernie's in Leavenworth doing five to ten. That leaves you. You're a sick boy. Uh-uh, you're the one that aches. A hall that big, and it might just as well be glass. Because there isn't a cutter in the country who won't scream cop the minute you show it. Take him. Mistake, Belden. I've got the key, a top cutter who can do the job. Oh, suddenly became a friend. I wouldn't go that far, Heister. How far would you go? I'll think it over. Well, then, don't take too long. I may not be around. I've got real itchy feet. in your head. I wouldn't give my mother 25%. Your mother hasn't got you over a barrel. You get a flat 15% and you take care of the cutter out of your end. That is it. You'll make a rough deal. You haven't heard at all. 
Your guy does all the work at a place I pick. And one of my boys is with him all the time. And so are you. Oh, come on, Belden. How is he supposed to study the rock with us hanging around like a mob? It won't take that long. Kovacs has already done most of the work for him. His marks are still on the rock. If we play it my way, or uh, you want to cancel the ball game? I guess we'll have to play it your way. You own the ball. Uh, by the way, where's the diamond? In a nice, safe place. You line up the cutter, we'll pick you up. Belden was cagey. After he picked up Gideon and me, he drove around for a couple hours to make sure he wasn't being tailed. Then he took us to an old theater that had been closed. Nobody knew that Belden owned the place. And nobody could guess that a half a million dollar diamond would be cut here. out of sight of Belden or his hoods for a minute until the diamond was cut. There was still something missing, the diamond. It wasn't hard to guess who would bring it. She showed right on time. Stealing any more necklaces? Not lately, but I will. I'm a compulsive thief. Here you are, Gideon. Is the rock? Here are your tools. Now get at it. It's a beautiful thing to behold. It's exquisite. Oh, we're going to make a lovely thing. I'll be my best. You and Gideon. Gideon and you. Trying to be patient, Mr. Kovacs, but you're not helping matters. I told you everything so many times. No, no, Mr. Kovacs, you're holding something back. Don't you see what you're forcing me to do? A man like you placed under arrest? Arrest? As soon as he's able to leave here. Don't make me do it, Mr. Kovacs. to say. What do they mean about robbery? Help from inside office. What does it mean? Inside job. Please, no more questions. It is enough. Paul, what does it mean, inside job? How should I know? I'm late. I've got to get to work. Bye. Once the diamond was cut, the evidence would be gone, and Anil Kovacs would go to prison. But I counted on whiskey and fear. I was sure that Gideon would stall, that he would never get up enough nerve to make the cut. If he did, well, I didn't want to think about that. In the meantime, I was still locked in. I'd been getting strange signs from Mrs. Belding. She seemed to want to talk to me alone, away from the others. So, who was I to deny her the opportunity? Whatever it was, I was sure it could benefit one person, Mrs. Belden. Yourself. 
Oh, I wouldn't mention this to my husband if I were you. He'd never believe you. He trusts me implicitly. Oh, I wouldn't think of coming between such a devoted couple. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh... You forgot this. I told you I'm a compulsive thief. doodling on the stone. What'd you bring him here for? You'll see. Darling. Darling, you're not really intending to give Jordan and the cut a 15%, are you? Don't worry your pretty little head, darling. When that diamond is cut, both of them go on a little trip to the bottom of the river. Mm, you're sweet. Come on, Kovacs. Uh, 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 uh. He knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, we'll make sure. You know what he's doing? How dare you, sir? Well? Yeah. Thank you. This is the foulest blow of all, auditioning for a taxi driver. Must I submit to this? It's incredible. He's right. Maybe you'd like the cab driver to make the cut. Five years from now, maybe he could. He's Kovac's son. Stepson. He set up his old man? How do you think it went so smooth? You're quite a fella. Your character, he'd better be quite a cutter. I give him two more hours to study that rock. Then hot or cold, he cuts, and that's final. <laughs> easy enough to fix. I'll go get him. Uh -uh. You go. Make it fast. Hey. Hey, you. There's 20 minutes to find one stinking little bag. Well, what's taking so much time? It's no charge for the time I look, senor. Only for how long I hold. It, it should be here. It, it don't have legs. It can't walk away. <laughs> That's pretty funny, not there? Can't walk away. Will you shut your mouth and find that bag? See? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Nobody even take the time for laughing. Aquí está, señor. We can't find it for you. It's all yours. And for $12.86. Don't, don't you even look to see if everything is there? Hey, amigo, you got changed. Don't you even wait for that? All right. Cut it. Right away. Cut 
to give him a drink. Or he'll mess it up. If he messes it up, you both go out of here in a box. It looked like Gideon was going to try to make the cut. That meant the end of the diamond and the end of Gideon and me.